What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Riggy's World. And today, we're gonna go and try to get a little flounder action on. Let me show y'all what we got going on. So, we got my rod here. We got a 3 8 ounce jig head. It's actually a little heavy for what we're fishing. Um, but this is what we got. And then to pair up with it, we got a Berkeley Gulp, the white swimming mullet. Something about me, I ain't never caught a flounder, okay? Never caught one, always wanted to catch one. And this ain't my first attempt. I actually went this morning before work and tried to go and attempt to catch some flounder with uh, some live bait, and it went about how you would go and expect it to go. Ah, uh. Yeah, I got skunked, okay? No fish. So, we're coming back out here at the Artificial. I was over on St. Simons this morning. We're at Clam Creek on Jekyll Island. And from what I heard, people are tearing the flounder up. Now, I've never went and fished the Artificial like this, so this is gonna be an experience and a learning curve for me. But, I got everything. It's beautiful out here. The tide is incoming. Dead low tide was at like five ish and it's like 6 30 ish so the tide's starting to go and come in we're going to work this creek all the way down and then as it comes in it starts getting more dark we're going to move over by the pier and there's some rocks over there that we're going to try to fish off of so i'm going to go and get the chest mount set up we're going to get the rod set up and we're going to get to it baby let's catch some flounder all right so we got our berkeley gulps here um and I'm just going to go ahead and put one on so we can get this fishing journey started. Oh yeah, them things smell fishy. Now, from what I've seen, I think we just go and hook it as such. And I think that's how it's supposed to look. That's our little presentation. And uh, I think we're just going to go and jig it on bottom let me go and pack this up just gonna toss it out there and i think just working on the bottom um just jigging it along like that is what i've seen and then hopefully we come across a flounder that staged up waiting for some bait fish to come over him Oh, do I got something? No way. No way. Hey, ain't no way. Okay, guys. Well, we didn't catch a flounder, but we definitely caught a fish. What in the world? Well, talk about automatic, baby. All right, so I'm actually going to be down to go and keep a trout. I don't know if this one's going to be big enough. Um, let me check the regulations real quick. Can I lip that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I believe it's got to be 14, I think. I think 14. Yeah, this one's not going to be 14. He's going to be a little shy. Yeah, he's just 12. Yeah, but, well, I couldn't even, I couldn't even go and tell y'all um, <laughs> uh, what I was going to do to it because, I mean, it was just automatic. Um, hopefully we get a little more of that. Give him a little kiss and send him back in there. All right, I'm, I'm a little pumped, y'all. I'm a little pumped. Maybe them trout are, are out there, out there. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Maybe we'll get into them. I would actually not mind catching some trout. I can't complain with that. I mean, was that... I think that was first cast. No, that was definitely first cast. That's wild. Yep. 
let's pack it up let's move all right let's go and see if there's anybody fishing over here if there is i will go to the beach because i'm not trying to be all up on people now the chance that i'm gonna go and get hung is definitely much 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 higher out here i'm gonna be completely honest with you and i hope that wind doesn't affect the audio too bad close we will reel that in to make sure we don't well, i tell you that for sure This don't seem to be hitting after a little bit we will move over to the mouth of that uh that creek i was just fishing in and we might see uh what did i just say what did i literally just went and called that i would do this no no please no oh yes 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 okay all right i'm gonna be honest I'm moving. I'm moving. Forget I said anything about these rocks. These rocks, a hazard. Hey, you need pliers, brother? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I got some in my bag. Yeah, them things are a pain to get off. Yeah, I've, I've been there for getting pliers and then catch one of them and you'll be in a nine line vine. You called anything? Uh, a crow, a sheep's head, a crab head. Oh, you got a sheep's head? Appreciate right. it. Here, I'll throw him back for you, too. All right, there you go. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right, good luck. All right, thank you. That's what we're about, helping out the community. I got one. I got one. Oh, what's that? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he spit it. He spit it. That was a flounder. That was a flounder. That was a flounder. No. No, that was definitely one. Oh, that makes me sick. Oh, no. Oh, he wasn't hooked good. I gotta loosen that drag. I had him too stiff. Oh, dang. Right there. I ain't trying to be loud in front of all these people, but oh, that had to be one. Oh, no. That is so tragic. Very tragic. I'm not going to get over that I don't catch one This will be diabolical Action. Um, It has been nice Okay We've moved up um, Got a little more creek to fish guys and I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, there was a guy sitting up here fishing with a popping cork. And I guess it didn't turn out for him very well. So we ended up leaving. But now it is open to us. This free real estate. And hopefully there's some flounder right here in this bend. Oh, oh, what was I just saying? What, what is that? Okay. 
Don't want to apply too much pressure. Don't apply too much pressure, Matthew. Don't apply too much pressure. Don't apply too much pressure. Don't want to apply too much pressure. Don't want to apply too much pressure. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's the pancake, baby. That's the pancake. That's the pancake. They gotta be ten. We got it. We got it. That's ten. That's ten. That's ten. That's Let's go! What did I just say? What did I just say? I said it's free real estate. I said it's free real estate. That's got to be 10. That's got to be 10. Let me check the regulations. I'm... <sighs> Let's go. Flounder's 12, but still, I think that should be 12. Honestly. Did he choke it? Oh my God, he did. <sighs> Oh, uh, he's, guys, he is over 12. He is over 12. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Yeah, that's like 16. That's like 16, baby. Let's go. Let's go. That's a him performance. I just, oh, let's go. Okay, let's get this thing. Let's get this thing out and let's see. Maybe we can get some more. You can keep 15 of these things. All right, let's go. y'all we didn't have any more luck catching any more flounder um, but we did what we set out to do today we went and we broke the seal went and caught my first flounder and uh, we figured out how to catch them at least somewhat I know a lot of y'all are gonna go and be like oh Matthew you're you're 21 years old you just caught your first flounder I caught mine when I was blah, blah, blah. and yes yeah, a little embarrassing but hey what Luke Combs say it might not mean much to you but it does to me okay that's all I gotta say so with that being said, I'm about to load up in the Jeep. We better go home, we better clean this thing up, and uh, we are gonna go and cook it up, because stay to the end, I'm not just gonna go and fry it, okay? I've had something in mind for this flounder, okay? I've been trying this past week, and I got a little something in mind of what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna go and cook it up and spice it up. So let's get home so we can get this thing cleaned up, and we can get to eating, baby. <laughs>
nephew's kitchen ready to cook up something nice. So let me show y'all what we got going on with this flounder. Now, we got everything set up here. Basically what I did, I got the flounder and I ran the knife down the middle and I scored the flounder. I did it in kind of an X pattern. Stuffed butter in between the cracks of my scoring. And then I cut up some lemon and put it on top. I also went and seasoned this with some Kingsford lemon pepper seasoning. Um, now to cook this thing, we just got to go and put it in the oven for like 25 to 30 minutes um, on 350. We got our oven up here. I'm going to go grab this flounder, pop it in the oven and get it to cooking. And all we got left to do is set a timer for 25 minutes. Timer is set and uh, we just let this thing cook and I'll catch y'all back in 25 minutes. It's been 25 minutes. I'm gonna take this thing out here and let's see how it's looking. Look at that. The flounder is actually not done right now. Um, as it looks like this, you've cooked it for about 25 minutes, 25, 30 minutes, depending on the size of your flounder. You're gonna go and put it back in the oven and set it to brew for around three to five minutes until you get a crispy top on it. Um, so that's what we're gonna do, set it back in there and I'll catch y'all when we get it all uh, crispied up and see the final product. All right, it's been about five minutes, so we're about to grab our masterpiece. with let's sit this thing down to rest this is what our finished masterpiece looks like look at that white meat y'all that looks good that looks good the flounder has cooled down now looking a little something like this I cannot wait to dig in. So I'm not going to keep the anticipation on. I'm going to get a little fork and get a little bite out of this. Got it right there. Look at the steam on that thing. So, just gotta take a bite. Oh my God. Phenomenal. <sighs> groundbreaking, groundbreaking. I gotta get up. Oh my God. Now, my girlfriend says, I'll say this about every fish, but I swear that's the best fish I've ever had. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I mean, I mean, look how white the meat is. I mean, that is just, that is phenomenal. And we're cooking it like this, there's no loss of meat. There's no loss of meat because you don't have to fillet it and you get your maximum yield of your meat in this. But that was incredible. Um, phenomenal, just wow, that was good. Um, but guys, I'm gonna be honest. As always, I'm hungry, I'm ready to go and dig in. So I think that's gonna be all for this video. I appreciate you watching. Um, it was incredible to be able to go out there um, and catch my first flounder and um, come home and cook him up and uh, it was a great experience and I was happy to go and share that with y'all but as always if you would go and hit that like button hit that subscribe button um, we're already over 50 subscribers we're trying to go and hit 100 subscribers so we're on that road um, 
but thank y'all for watching. Um, remember, if you're watching today, you woke up today, so thank the Lord for that. Um, I'm going to go and dig in. Thank y'all for watching again. This is Riggy's World. I'm out.